Diana J. Brody here from Next Level Editing Academy and today's installment of Premiere vs. Avid. We are swapping clips. Let's be all about it. Swapping things places in Premiere Pro. Swapping two clips. If you haven't been doing this in Premiere Pro, I'm about to make your life 21% better. That's a conservative estimate. Let's go up here and make sure that your magnet is turned on. I like to make sure my magnet's turned on anyway, but magnet turned on is really going to help you with this function. Come over here to your clip. I want to take this clip and I want to, I want to switch it places with this clip, lock, stock, and barrel. I want this clip to go first, that clip to go after it. And all I do is I'm going to click on this clip and I'm going to move it until it snaps into place. Then I'm going to hold down option command or alt control if I'm on a PC and I get all, you see all these arrows come up, right? So you see that arrow comes up and then I'm going to drop it and they've swapped places. That again, if I want to go back the other way, right? I take that clip, I move it, not holding anything. Once I get to where I want it, I hold down option command or alt control and I drop it. Works differently in Avid. Join me. All right, for swapping clips in Avid, it works differently. Here's how it goes. Instead of like in uh, Premiere where you just lift the clip and move it and you hold two modifier buttons. In Avid, you're going to want to go into segment mode right here. Segment mode. Yellow arrow segment mode is what you want to use. It's right there. I have also mapped it to my keyboard, which I know surprises no one. And you're going to use the yellow arrow segment mode. Click on your clip and then watch as I shuttle it down to swap it places. It is moving within the clip, right? So it shows you this part of the clip is now moving to the other side of it, right? If we want to do it clean, let's say I want this clip to go in front of this clip. I would take the yellow arrow segment mode and I'd start shuttling it down. Once I get near the cut point, if I hold down command or control, if I'm on a PC, it will snap to the cut and then I can drop it. And now these clips have lock, stock and barrel swapped places. Let me go back the other way. If I want to put this clip in front of that clip, I'm going to go here, start to slide it. When I get near the cut point, I'm going to hold down uh, command or control on a PC, drop it. And now these clips have swapped them places, lock, stock and barrel. But you'll also notice that now I can put it in the middle of that clip, right? Now part of this clip is over here uh, because I've moved it with that yellow arrow, right? Uh, so that's a little bit confusing if you're just starting out. But just know, if you want to lock, stock, and barrel, just move a clip. Take this whole clip, put it in front of this clip. You can do that very easily with the yellow arrow segment mode in Avid. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like or subscribe. And if you got any questions, hit me up in the comments. Feel free to check my link in the bio or the link underneath if you're watching this on YouTube.